Fresh allegations have emerged of secret CIA prisons around the world and violations that have allegedly been taking place there. A New York-based NGO funded by one of America's richest men, George Soros, has unveiled a report which claims to detail the operation of these so-called black sites. Artis Ganachich Khan has the details. This is a very uh, comprehensive report uh, prepared by the Open Society Foundations. Not only do they detail torture techniques that were used at CIA secret prisons overseas, the so-called black sites, but also give a list of uh, countries that one way or another participated in CIA secret detention and extraordinary rendition operations, including by hosting CIA prisons on their territories, detaining, interrogating, torturing and abusing individuals, assisting in the, tor in the capture and transport of detainees and, and so on. So the list includes countries uh, like Afghanistan, uh, Australia, uh, Canada, Denmark, uh, uh, Djibouti, Egypt, Georgia, uh, Germany, uh, Syria, Turkey, Italy, the United Arab Emirates, uh, uh, United, the United Kingdom, Yemen, and other countries. While President Bush acknowledged that the CIA had secretly detained about 100 prisoners, and this report alleges that there were more, the U.S. government uh, had only identified 16 high-value detainees. Italy is the only country where a court has criminally convicted officials for the involvement in extraordinary rendition operations. Canada is the only country to issue an apology to an extraordinary rendition victim, Mahir Arar, uh, with, uh, who, who was rendered to and tortured in Syria. And only three countries, in addition to Canada, Sweden, Australia, and the United Kingdom, have issued compensation to extraordinary rendition victims. And this report is ripe with human rights abuses. And it's clear that high-ranking Bush administration officials bear responsibility for authorizing human rights violations. And yet, no one was prosecuted because the U.S. government has uh, classified everything related to its torture practices. And any accusation would be dismissed on state secrets grounds.